keep a wink all night. I don't know if it was worrying about you or those Mexican amphetamines I've been taking, but... <laughs> Loved it. Oh. And he said he'd, he'd give me some more time. Honey, that's great. So I helped someone. Hopefully this will count toward my community service. <laughs> I'm sick of picking up trash in the park with that kid from The Sopranos. The only thing is, is I, I may have accidentally lied a little. I didn't tell him about Leo. Now, Grace. What have I always told you about lying? That it's good. <laughs> but it didn't feel right. I've got to tell Will the truth, the whole truth. Yeah. Maybe it's for the best. Then you and I can move on with our lives, out in the open, to love freely. <laughs> Karen, we're not a couple. Aren't we? <laughs> No. <laughs> well, all I know is, when I woke up this morning, there was red hair on my pillow and lesbian porn in the VCR. Hey, ladies. Hey, hey. Hey, ladies. <laughs> Feet are killing me. We just walked like 30 blocks. Oh, can I get you something to drink? She's buttering him up. She didn't tell him about Leo. You know what I really like? Where's that new foot massager? He's setting her up. He knows about Leo. You don't need the electric massager. I will rub your feet. No, no, no. Get it. I, I want to try it. Look, well, I don't, I don't, I don't have the massager, okay? She gave it to her guy. He's a really good kisser. How good a kisser? <laughs> what, what, what happened to it? Did, did your boyfriend take it back to the sharper image? He's not my bo How did you know about that? I saw him there when I was returning that stupid personal cooling system. You returned the personal cooling system? Why didn't you just tell me that you didn't like it? I don't know. Why didn't you tell me that you wanted more time because of some guy? Hey, you want me to show you? Show me. Okay. Get out! Damn, Leo's good. I'm sorry. I was going to tell you. I started to tell you, and then you were so understanding, and then there were gifts and curled ribbons. Grace, Grace, just... Grace, bottom line. Do you want to have this baby with me or not? You said I could have more time. That was before I found out you were sneaking around behind my back. If you want to back out of this, then I want you to back out of it now, because I don't want to have this conversation again in a month like we did with the cabinets. I like the nickel pulls. Now I like the brass pulls. Oh, now I like the nickel pulls again. Make up your freaking mind. <laughs> So what you're saying is, if I don't do it tomorrow, you don't want to do it at all? That's right, Grace. It's now or never. Well, if that's the case, I guess I have to go with never. Oh, I can't believe this! <sighs> this is only the most important thing we've ever done together, and you flake out on me? I don't know why that's surprising. You're a flake! I am not oh, a flake! Oh, please! The dinners you blow off, the dry cleaning you forget to pick up, the rent that's late every month, and it's always been this way, Grace. I mean, you, you skipped out on my law school graduation party before I cut the cake. That was a big deal. It was carrot cake. That's never a big deal. <laughs> but I always let it go, Grace. Because, you know, come on, it's, it's not like we're making a baby or something. Except this time, we're making a baby. Yes, at the moment you say, the place you say, wearing the clothes you say, you are a control freak. All I asked for was one month, one month, to see where this is going. Oh, let me tell you where this is going. You'll end up hating him in three weeks because, I don't know, he has a weird chest hair pattern. Or he doesn't like watching E. Or he'll end up hating you because you're too needy. Then you'll fall apart, I'll pick you up, and then magically, you'll be ready to have a baby. Wow. So that's what you think of me. Look, I'm sorry that I met someone because I know how much you hate it when I'm happy. Oh, that is such Admit a lot. You're happiest when I'm miserable. I mean, come on. Isn't that our thing? Because then you don't have to look at how miserable you are. Shut up, but Grace. But I am not gonna be miserable for you. I am gonna try to be happy. And if you can't deal with that, then you are even more pathetic than I thought. Get out of here. Go to hell! No, I mean it. I want you out of here in two weeks. You don't live here anymore. <laughs> <laughs>